Namo Narayan Swami Ji. Namo Narayan. Today the word we are going to see is Durga Bha. This is the 31st mantra in our 32 mantra sh- um, stotra. So what does Durga Bha mean? Durga Bha, Durga Swarupena Bhati Iti. That is how I will dissolve it. Durga Swarupena Bhati Iti. Durga Swarupena in the form of the fortress. We have seen again and again that she is a, Durga is a fortress, very formidable fortress. Durga Swarupena, in this form of the fortress, she shines. I have said it, bha bhati to shine. Okay, now this bha word is coming again and again, bha bhati. Even in the scriptures, it says, tasya bhasa sarva midam vibhati. Tasya bhati, sorry, yeah. Um, the first line of that is, um, let's see, I, I know it is not coming to me like this at this minute. Uh, anubhati sarvam, tasya bhasa sarvamivan vibhati. I think it's vibhati, Swamiji. Okay. So, um, bha. Even in our day-to-day life, we use the word bha again and again, bhaskara. Bham tejam karoti iso bhaskara. It is an epithet of Surya. He creates effulgence, brilliance, resplendence. And that is why he is called bhaskara. Even in our names, you know, there's a vibhavari. Vibhavari means visheshana bhati, sa vibhavari. Okay, abha, vibha, same root. The same root is there everywhere. So, Durga shines resplendent in the form of the fortress. Beautiful. Then, um, bhasa, resplendence, that is her specialty. In Navratri, we celebrate nine, uh, Devi's worship for nine days. Like Katyayani, Kushmanda are some of the names we worship. And the very last one, last one on Navami is Gauri. Gauri is the most resplendent form of uh, Devi. What is Gaura? Gaura means fairness. Gauri means fairness incarnate. Okay, she is nothing but resplendent. And what gives her this resplendence? I read it somewhere in, a, in the our scriptures that tapascharya, after doing a tapascharya for a long time, she does the snana, the bath. And when she come out of that snana, she is just glowing, glowing with teja. And that rupa is Gauri. That is the perfect rup of Devi as Gauri. Okay, so that's the meaning of Gauri. And that is how she is. She is a fortress, very, very fearsome, very extremely strong in her st- winning all her struggles after putting forth great valor. And then with all that inside her, with all that accomplishment, with all that valor, then she shines supreme. And that's the meaning of Durga Bha. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Bahut Sundar. Would somebody like to express their view on Durga Bha? I would just want to point out that struggle, struggle for a woman is very important. Unless you go to the struggle, you don't shine. You have to take on the challenges and then you'll shine. And that's a lesson for us women from that great divine Durga. But why, why do you limit it only to women? No, no, of course men. <laughs> we cannot do anything without the support of men. And men cannot do anything without the support of women. Yes, yes. No. Right. Yes, exactly. uh, until and unless we don't realize this, that we are interdependent. Yes. We dependent yes. on each other. We are interdependent. Because when we are interdependent, then we can go to a higher level. Absolutely. And we are human beings. Most of yes. all, we are human beings. Both, and both we also have to remember that there was a, sl- a, le- a slight deviation on this topic, but very important. When Mirabai, she was traveling along, she heard that there was a great saint and she went, she wanted to meet him. And 
in those days there were it was a lot of uh, uh, orthodoxy and that saint said uh, the s- disciples of that sage saint said that no 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 aap nahi mil sakte hain wo keval purushon se milte hain striyon se nahi milte hain meera bhai immediately remarked are ye dusra purush kaun nikal aaya हम तो सोचे थे एक ही पुरुष है और बाकी सब हम लोग गोपी हैं ये दूसरा पुरुष कौन निकल आया वेन दैट सेंट हर्ड दिस ही रियलाइज दिस इज नो ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन एंड ही केम द पॉइंट विच आई वॉन्टेड टू मेक इज दैट नो मैटर वॉट बॉडी वी हैव वी आर ऑल इन दैट होल आस्पेक्ट द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रकृति बिकॉज दिस होल बॉडी इज अंडर द स्वे ऑफ प्रकृति and the chaitanya the spark of purusha within us is dormant the moment that spark comes up then we can say that okay the spark has lit but at the moment that spark is totally dormant so we are totally as a part of prakriti so just as the child in the womb maybe male or female is a complete part of the mother the same way we also are a part of the mother and therefore we need to maintain that and therefore male female fine on the practical level is okay but on an energetic level we have to remember that we have to go hand in hand let's get away from this you know uh, childish comparison uh, for joy for fun for you know light hearted banter that is okay but in reality we must know that we are actually nothing but prakriti and we have to go step by step towards that light and what is that light that light is one which is generated from tapasya and that makes us veritable veritably invincible it is only through tapasya that all the sages have achieved anything in tulsi ramayan it has been mentioned that due to tapasya brahma could create due to tapasya vishnu can maintain and it is only due to tapasya that shiva can destroy so therefore o parvati go and do tapasya this is a moment when she wanted to attain lord shiva as her soulmate that's to achieve that she performed tapasya and then she became resplendent and a veritable power in herself so much so that shiva had to come out of his samadhi and come to meet her that is the power of tapasya and that is the the net result of tapasya is resplendence glow bha so that is what we have to remember and connect with with that aspect of devi let us bring that within us let us take this sankalpa chaitra navratri is coming let us take a sankalpa let us start thinking pondering that from this navratri this new year what is the sankalpa i will take so what i can make that change in my life as i make a change in my life no matter how small how seemingly insignificant if we build on it step by step we will reach very far so that tapasya should build within in gita there are multiple levels of tapasya which are spoken tapasya does not just mean that you have to go into the forest <laughs> that is for some other day where we can speak a little bit more on tapasya but today hey, let us remember that we have to undertake some tapasya so that the glow comes within us just thinking that oh ma you are 
formidable fortress you are shining you are resplendent the moment i see you i my heart lights up in hope that's not sufficient we need to bring that in our life and that has to happen step by step slowly and slowly so let us take that resolve as we complete our uh, chanting for the day yes archana ji ji can i say one thing i just would like to make one remark i have a definition from the word bharat bhasu tejeshu ratah sa bharatah very very true and very very important very nice very nice yes somebody mentioned something yeah swami ji i'm sorry i got late today because It, yeah we have uh, changed the time so thoda sa gadbada gaya i got it uh, i got sucked away there but i just oh, yeah, what i know from the last two minutes i see uh, i heard is durga bha is almost like durga durga meshwari right i mean uh, there bha th- there she goes i mean uh, you were telling that uh, uh, ishwara had to come and take over and then sub you know uh, get her in control so durga ba in that case is it like durga meshwari all the meanings are interrelated you okay. see they uh, we don't have radically different meaning right from okay. durga to the last word we have the same meaning because we are describing the same cosmic principle but that cosmic principle has got different shades different nuances and as we think and uh, understand those nuances we start having that impact within and comes up so therefore uh, durga meshwari one who is the highest of that aspect and in that highest aspect being reach having reached that pinnacle she glows with tej so that is durga bha and then tomorrow we will speak about the last one